Greetings to you all and praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to our today's show on the journey to become. I am your host Beatrice Kamau. With us here is Anthony Njama who allow us to share in his journey of how he, he is becoming. So at the end of the day, so Anthony, Yes. Situ usalimi utuambie uwe ni nani ndivyo tukujue. Okay, bwana asifiwe. Okay, naitwa Anton Jama. Okay. Uh, nimezaliwa in a family of 12. Okay. I'm number 11. Okay. Uh, my, my, my father alikuwa na two wives. Okay. So uh, mimi ni wa ule mdogo. Okay. So I'm um, number 2 kwa ule mdogo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, about Life generally, life in Akupeleka Aje. <laughs> life sa iko sawa, but in the beginning, mm. it was worse, some things it was ups and downs. Okay. Because, okay, see, Tumezal, Nimezal, you are in a family of steps brothers. Okay, okay Unandi Wakubua. So, Alkua Kubo Kunishinda. So, mm -hmm. in 1999, my father died. Okay. So, to Kafkuzua. Mimi, my, bro, my younger brother, na my elder sister, Jumin Eni, and Kuboangu. Okay. My younger sister li akaoleka in 16 years ju wakatulifukuzwa kila mtu aka depart so nilikuwa usiku my mom tukujua mali alienda so mimi nika bahati mzuri tukapata na kabroka kadogo okay. so my sister tuju mali alienda okay. so but alienda akaoleka after 2 years ndio tuko tunapatana na wao so even ni yani ku survive ku survive in 2 years ju kuna mal tuko tunaita home that is kwa street kaza kutumia gum juu ya baridi because wewe hauna kitu kujifunika so in short kuwa na challenges mingi sana so kumaanisha life si kwa kila mtu na kuanga walk in the park life kwa issue ukiingia chokora lazima upigwe ndio ukue ukue hardened ndio ukue wao okay una blanket lazima utumie gum okay haya kitu kingine pia una food lazima ile peepers za 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 kutupa takataka mm. pia zinakwanga na oda okay. na pia kuna groups za za kuende mali nyinyi mtakuwa mna oda kuendea so hiyo life ili ilienda aji like because unapatanga most of the chokoraz in Nairobi mm. wako na hiyo challenges na kuna watu wanashanga how naweza toka aji staff by the way kitu ya kwanza kitu ya kwanza ukiingia ukiingia chokora ni ngumu juu utapigwa kitu kingine pia inakwanga na groups okay kulingana na tauni yenu juwezi toka kwa tauni for example ya Nairobi uende kwa ya Nakuru no mm. utaikutana na group ya kwenu okay lazima uhadeniwe lazima utritiwe vibaya wewe utakuwa tumika in any kind such of kind vitu mbaya okay. vitu zingine kitu kama drugs kutumia uko sio issue okay. because you are baridi na ulitoka aje drugs tuanzia hapo jumilitu okay nilitu ilianza wakati niliingia chokora na nini na nini nikaanza kutumia drugs na brother yangu kitu mm. kwanza ni glue mm. juu ya baridi kitu ya pili tukaanza kukua drug kutumiwa vibaya na wale wakubwa okay. kuna drugs anataka kufikisha mahali wewe ndio anatumia mm. juu ya police wewe wewe mdogo juu ya ana avoid kushikwa ana avoid kushikwa na nini la wewe ndio anatumia okay. so vitu zingi ukapata pia wewe unaanza kuzitumia Okay. Junendo unaona sikia umetumia unataka kuona kujua zaidi. Okay. Na unataka kujua zaidi za mpya unaanza kuzitumia. Na hiyo life ulitoka aje? Okay, hiyo life nilitoka. Okay, life most of the cases life ni choice yako. Okay. Because ku, 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 kutoka kwa kutafuta life yako wewe ni choice yako. Okay. Kitu ya kwanza kuna kuna mtu kuna watu wawili. Okay. Kuna mtu anaweza ako na backup ya marafiki zake ama familia okay. na kuna mtu hana backup okay. ni yeye na god peke yake so kutoka ni ni choice yako okay so mimi nikaambia brother wangu so tunafaa kutoka huku na tunafaa turudi shule okay. tukaenda shule tukaenda kutukaenda kujikomba kwa shule fulani kama tunaweza somanga huko mm. tukaso tukaenda tukajiangalia tukaomba huko tukaka tukarudi tuka tukaingia shule okay so but kwa kulala tunalala wapi street okay so mm -hmm. i fortunately watu wakaanza kusaidia wa uniform na nini na nini wakaanza kushika pole pole okay because after 2 years you'll parana na wazazi na, na my mom okay my mom na you life will go hard mm. pia aliolewa na mtu mwingine okay so ile life pia kuingia kwa kwa life ya mama yangu na na mze, na step father hajatuzoea Okay. na sisi ni wakubwa so huo pia ikaanza na pia ile ku feel ah siwezi kumandiwa yeah. at the end of the day i've been running my yeah. life yeah. Yeah. pia julikuwa nimezoea kujicontrol 
pale meanza kukontroliwa. Okay. Kitu ingine ule, my, my, my stepfather alikuwa kazi alikuwa anafanya kushona magadi. Okay. So nilikuwa na mistritiwa tena. Okay. Juu nilikuwa pata na, na funga mbaka sa sita usiku. Mm. Hizo vitu ndia hende ya uze asubui. Okay. So unapata jumi nilikuwa ni meanza kawizi na nina nina. So unachukua zingine na iba nina na uza kiviangu. At least kujilipa. Ni, ni jilipe, jusilipui. Mm. Okay. Kama ni food, aitoshi. So unapata hiyo kitu kakua uya. Dikafika mali tukapiga. Tuka mm. Kulingali juu hard life enye tulikuwa na ayo na tumekuju kumutu wa metu street vibaya, tukampiga. But si umeniambia, okay, there was a point mama likufa and all that. What, nini liendelea? So, so my mama, okay, after to, to, to wait clashes, tukatoka eldore, tukakuja na huku. Okay. So my mama ka, akasema at, arudi, arudi huko. Okay. But mbaya tuonai na kagongo wa jembe ya kichua. So there was no, nobody, akukua na mtu wa kumushikilia nina nini. So, ilikuwa tu ni mimi. Okay. Because kila mtu walikuwa na ogopa kurudi huko. Na relatives? Relati, kila mtu walikuwa na ogopa. Because okay. ni vile kubulikuwa kumewaka moto. Mm. So nilirudi, mimi nilichipa kaburi peke yangu. Nikamzika na mbaoze zilikuwa kwa nyumbani. Mm. Because nilitu wakama hako karibu. Okay. Yende alipigia, alipigia simu. Okay. Anka angu wakabini kasai kabini niende. Okay. So tukaenda hakuna pesa. Na pia utaki manaiba wajuu umefika huko. Pia usifanyue hivo. So, nikachimba kaburi, nikamtengenezea saduku ya, nikafunga zina mali njine na, na tamba, nikafanya kini nafanya teni, nikahepa. Nikarudi, nikarudi, nikarudi kiambu. Na nasi umio ni ngumu based on, ikiwa watu normal, mtu wakiki, uh, nini, akifiwa inakuanga God, haki tunahanza wapi. So, Tata njini mulifanya aji based on wewe, brother, uh, sistako na brother kwa mdogo. O sister angu alichukuli, brother angu le mdogo alichukuliwa, sister angu ne alioleka mali, mali mbali, so angeweza kufika. Okay. Brother angu alikuwa mdogo, okay. so nalikuwa mechukuliwa na anko yangu pia. Okay. So but sasa wakati mama alikufa, hakuna mtu angeweza kuenda. Okay. So it was only me. Na shule uliko paji considering bado ulikuwa mdogo? Na bado nilikuwa form 2 nikiitua. Okay. So nikaenda, nikaenda, nikapua fela, nikaenda, nikafanya shuguli zote. Mm. Then after hapo yu kitu yika nisumbua. Okay. Juu, mepata, yu mama menikufia, mekufia kwa mkono yangu. Mm. Then, munapata, bimi ndi nimechimba kaburi peke yangu, hata sijui kaa ilifika six feet, sijui. Mm. Juu vya sulikuwa chimba na uoga, mm. na kila kitu nikafanya hapo. Then, haka hiku ni unafekti saizo. Mm. But after one week, mm. so yu kitu yikaanza kunireflesh, hata kila kunisumbua, kunisumbua. So, nika jingiza kwa drug, kwa nikaanza kutumia drugs, mm. Nikaanza kuwa drug, nikaanza kuwa kunyua pombe, nika kuwa addicted so much. Mm. Because kuendea kundo ile kitu kwa, kwa mind. Ok, na after kutoka streets, ulianza aje ya ni life juu? Sahi you're not, wezi ampo actually unoi kwa streets. So after kutoka kwa streets, na nikena nikazika mamamu nikarudi, nika kuwa drug traffic, nika kuwa mtu wa addiction na, na, na wezi kila kitu. Mm. But life is about choice. Mm. Iyo ndiyo kitu na muhimu. Juhu hata ukienda rehab, ukipere kwa rehab, mm. utapereka rehab, utakaa rehab, juhu hakuna yu kenyu natumia hapo. But ukitolewa kwa rehab, mm. urulishio mali kenyu yu kitu natumia anga, utanza kutumia. So when any choices gani hizo zenye ume, ume, ume insist choices, but yeah. ni gani juhu hatu wengu anapenda vitu zikiwa in black and white? Mini lisema, nilifika mali nikaangalia life yangu, nimetumia drugs, nimelewa, nimefanya nini, hizi kutumia vitu nyezi ya zifai. Mm. So, nikasema anataka kutengeneza life yangu sasa. Okay. Nikasema it's my choice sasa. Okay. Niacha drugs, yache, ni hata kama itanisumbua juu, kuacha drugs si raisi. Yeah. Vita kusumbua mwili yako kwa week, ni kila kitu kwa week. Mm. Nikasema nao, nataka kuwa mtu, mtu different. Okay. Nika choose life kuwa different. Na, na sasa so far, iyo ulianza wapi? Because the journey to become, una place enye the beginning point and the Ya. Yeah. Na penye uko sahi. So wakati niluka rudi shule, nika shindo kuna shule. Hmm. Because nilikuwa na provide ya my younger brother mali alikuwa. Okay. Na my sister pia juu alikuwa mdo, alikuwa sami nilikuwa na namteftia ya kitu. Okay. So wakati nika angalia, my brother nika angalia my sister. Hmm. Nika sema now I must make a choice. To yeah. ni control, juu mimi ndio neza control life ya brother angu na life ya sita angu kidogo. Okay. Nika sema now I, mi niki, niki, niki make a choice, pia wa watakuwa. Watas, watas and if your life will be better. Yeah. Okay. So, nikaacha shule, nika, 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 nika ku, 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 katakata skuma, nika andi kwa mali katakata skuma. Okay. So, nika katakata katakata, katakata skuma for four months, nika pata pesa kidogo, mm. nika fungulia mayanga brother kabiyashara, mm. jolikuwa maliza eight. Mm. 
akafungulia my younger brother ka biashara mm. na nikafungulia sister yangu malipakuza chapati okay. joko na kazju pia alifukuzangwa na na bwana yake okay. so alikuwa anauza chapati kwa barabara so nika nikawafungulia biashara then sasa mimi nikaanza life yangu sasa so kumaanisha basically mtu anaweza amua kuwa backbone ya society by kusaidia watu wenye wanahitaji usaidizi bila kujiangalia from unajua uh, from inside you yeah. watu wengi wako selfish yeah. ni life yangu mimi 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 na mimi yeah. kitu ya kwanza nataka kuambia mtu akunanga life ya mtu mmoja okay because ukimake a wrong choice mm. kuna watu uta affect okay. for example nikisema video kati mimi nilisema nimeka good choice nime make choice mzuri mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza nili affect nili pata marafiki okay. na marafiki wao wako affected na my life yangu sure. kama ni mtu anatafaka ku trust mm. ju choice yako okay. ju ni wakati nime make choice nime make watu wawili watatu wa ni trust sure. so wale watu ndio watazansaidia kitu okay. ingine pia ni marafiki okay. kama uke unatembea na rafiki for example rafiki mwenye aezi ku support mali ustand mm. unafaa kujua uko uko side gani i hope umeshika hiyo life si personal si, si selfish ni ya kila mtu yani ha, your decisions affect me my decisions affect you because we are a community yeah kwa sababu ukimeka choice to be a father okay. kuna, kuna kuna commitment okay. kuna utatafuta wife Okay. utakuwa na watoto sure. na utakuwa na, na families ya two, two pairs okay. pande hii na pande ile so wewe ume make choice ya kuwa a, fa, a father mm. but umefanya nini choice yako ime, ime, ime cover watu, watu wengi mm. so unapata hata mtu ule mbaya aki make choice mm. it affect kila mtu okay. ukichu, ukichu, make you, for example kama pastor ame make a choice kukuwa pastor mm. imagine watu wenye, wenye, wenye watakuwa na mfollow Oh, okay. Ona for example we great a group a uh, FB ama ama issue yenye tuna tusaidi huko. Okay. Kuna kuna watu tunaitanga followers okay. because of your choice. Okay. So mimi nikatoka hapo nikauza skuma for 3 months nikatoka hapo nikaanza kuandikwa kazi ya kutengeneza hizi vitu za mawe za vitu za jiko. Okay. Bado sikulipwa mshahara. Okay. For four months. Mm. Tukatoka hapo sasa tuka nikatukaambia na kijana mwingine now to make a right choice now. Okay. Tusiandikwe kazi tena. Okay. Tuanze zetu. Ju tumenyang'anywa pesa ya kutosha, tumefanywa za kutosha, mm. tuanze life yetu. Okay. Nakumbuka nilikuwa na 150 na kasimuka button. Mm. Na alikuwa na 500. Okay. So mimi nikaenda nikauza simu yangu ya button nikauza 200. Mm. Plus 150 niko na 350. 350. Nikaenda ni, mtu mwingine akaniambia akanipeleka kwa kwa kuuza pineapple. Okay. That is 2013. Okay. 2013 nika nikanua ndoa ya 200 mm. na matunda ya 150. Okay. Nikaanzia hapo life sasa. So kumaanisha watu wenye tuko home ama watu wenye wako na wako jobless ni choice yao because opportunities are everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Na kazi ni mingi. Mm. But kazi ziko mingi saizi mm. si za kuandikwa, okay. za kujiandika. Okay. But most of the cases ukitaka kazi ya kuandikwa ziko chache mm. na ziko na ma condition. Okay. Na control utakuwa una pata time mzuri. The reason nauliza hivyo ni well, today let's look at today youth wa Kenyans mm. they are like they are waiting for this maybe ulisoma mm. or maybe yani tumemaliza tu high school and you're waiting for this grand opportunity ya yani kuanza life. What yeah. would you say to such a person? Kitu ya kwanza learning ni mzuri. Mm. But after la, after education hapo ndio life huanzanga yako sasa. Okay. Because kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na connection. Okay. Yako na anajiona vlog fulani ama ako na connection na mtu fulani mm. na kuna mtu hana. Yeah. But kinyi mimi nazambia youth. Mm. Anza na kinyi kiko kinyi kinaonekana. Okay. For example mimi nikianza 2013 kuuza mananasi nilianza manasi ya 150. Okay. Naweza kuuza manasi ya 150. Kitu kwa kitu kingine muhimu ni kitu ya kwanza usiangalie familia yenu. Sure. Usiangalie marafiki wako. Mm. Usiangalie wenye watu mlisoma na wao. Mm. Watu mlisoma na wao. Mm. Kinyi watasema because kama hiyo kuna kitu sahihi inafanya mpaka youth wakuwe desperate. Ju mtu amesoma alikuwa grade 1 alikuwa amepass vizuri. But anaona kazi nyana anaweza anza ni hoki. Mm. Enyi utaweza msaidia but anaogopa wale what will people say what will people say okay. watu walikuwa sema mimi nichopi mimi mm. nilikuwa na pass kwa life mm. but watu watanibeba aje hapo okay. ndio wanaharibia life so kumaanisha in short what you're saying is begin with what you have mm. because ukijiangalia from the moment you move your eyes from without to within mm. kuna chenye god ame place ndani yako yes because nimeuza manasi for for, for yeah, nando kuhook 
Me work for five years. Okay, job ya pineapple so fine na kupeleka aje. Okay, job ya pineapple is iko sawa kabisa size. Okay. Juni li tafta, wakati likuwa nuza moja moja. Mm. Kuzurusha na ndo, nikenda hivyo nika uza matunda 50. Nikenda kwa nika nuwa hulu baru, mkokoteni. Mm. Then nika haza kupata order mingi. Okay. So nika tafta place. So kumanisha ikiwa mtu anataka pineapples mingi anaiza kupata aje? Niko orongai market hapa limuru. Ukifika tu market ulizo tu kwa pineapple mm. ama kwa jama mm. atanipata kwa okay tuko tu watu watatu hapo okay. kwa mimi kuna hapo rafiki yangu anaitwa Kuria na Def so yes. ukiwa tu kwa jama hapo hivi and then unajua nowadays watu wako very online na mm. simu na nini maybe unaweza peana namba yako kwa eh. mtu mwenye okay. anaweza taka pia mtu akitaka pineapple unaweza ingia hata kwa FB waandike Anthony Sajama okay. utapata utapata tu kila kitu hapo okay. online Anton Jama. Okay. Yeah, you know that at online. Big juki to yenye na understand ni interest yenye yani yani uko nazo like mentorship. Like unatumianga pesa yako aje. Most but the ju mimi nimekaa kwa street. Hmm. Kama kuna watu napenda hmm. they are the street. Okay. Na kuwasikiza kuna kitu wanafurahi because hawa watu watakangi pesa. Okay. Watakangi msaada kubwa sana. Okay. But ukimsikiza tu umpe idea kidogo acha afanya juu okay. ile tu ndio inahitajika for example kama mimi nikienda nenda nikitaka ni ku, ku vio okay, vile na code na, na street children mm. ni rahisi sana okay okay sana tafuta watu wawili naambia kujeni wabaye chai okay. so hiyo chai before iishe mm. kuna something itapitia kwa masikio yao okay enye ndakuwa nataka hii ku pass information hata kama for example this year mm. look at the notorious mm. and we i manage nil manage kupata watu 10 okay notorious kumi mm. now at least work on our followers wow okay. and they are changing they are changing life now so kumanisha with what experiences and you lipata kwa street kuna yeah. kuna kuna advantages zake yeah very good because kuna, kuna advantage na wale watu ni wazuri sana mm. kama kuna mtu unaweza trustia na kazi mm. ni mtu wa street mm. because wakati umemtoa kwa street umemtrust mm. anafanya kazi vizuri ana challenges mingi ana kusumbua sana mm. But vile tu mtaka na kuzoea na tunayendio inakuanga vizuri. Then napata kitu ingine pia inatakanga life kukaa vizuri. Mm. Kuna vitu na kathaa unafaa kufanya. Okay. Kitu ya kwanza ni forgiveness. Mm. Jumimi kaa for example life ni mepitia. Wakati wa clashes kuna watu walifanya mambo enye si mzuri. Okay. Kuna walifanya watu wetu wapotea vitu zetu zinye at least kwa tumegatha kidogo zikapotea. Okay. Kuku zetu zikachomo kwa shamba. Okay. My mama kapas. Imekabidi ile uchungu mimi mwenyewe kwenda kwenda kumzika alikuwa pe, peke yangu mm. hakuna watu mm. vitu zingine nikaanza kuingia kuingia kwa drugs mm. nikapata hasina kitu za kufanya okay. so unapata zile vitu forgiveness inakupenga peace of mind okay. wa forgive mm. unapata pia wenye walikufale ma step brother na ma step sister wenye walifanya walifanyia mambo nikawa forgive okay. juu nifika mahali mpaka inafikanga mahali mpaka unakosa ku trust anybody Okay. So ni kaza sasa ku trust, ni kaza kuwa kuwanza tuna ku trust. Okay. So that's where I started. So kumanisha, sometimes hard things, yani vitu zenye atu kwa tuna expect zenye tuna chukianga in life zineza taniwa for good. Yes, very good. God. Yani like you being, having gone through life enya uko hii expect. Yes. Juu wakuna mtu anatakanga parent wake, aende, kwanza ni disaster juu. One. Uh, ni step alikuwa the second wife yeah. two akakufa kwa crashes three ukaingia street children and all that hakuna mtu anatakanga life kama hiyo but out of that you have made something out of yourself unaweza yes. sema aje kitu mimi naweza sema kitu ya kwanza ni kujikubali okay because ukijikubali kuna option option mingi sana okay. na the, the smallest thing ni unaanza nayo hiyo mm. ndio inaku inaku make yanga we Okay. Kidogo yu meanza nayo ndi nakutengenezi yanga njie ingine. For example, kama for, for them now niko na groups kama the groups that yana run size. Mm. Yana zema niko na groups kaza, niko na groups group start tano. Okay. Kiti wa kwanza niko na ya street children. Okay. Uwa naenda kuonesha movie. Mm. Na na wabaiya kahawa. Na wapikia kahawa na hitha na, na mandazi ama na keki. Okay. Every Sunday, wanona movie moja, uwa nalipa 700. Okay. So, kitu ya pili, Kuna, kuna watu wako kwa street uyo unafaku, ukiaza kuangea na wao, unafaku wa follow up. Follow up itakuanga mzuri sana. Okay. Unajua wakoje, wanaendelea aje. Kitu ya tatu, it, it make me, kuna kitu, at least imefanya, nione kumbe neza shikilia watu wengi. Okay. Because unapata, for example, ata ule, ule mtumbaya kabisa. Mm. 
niko ni mtu amekosa ame, ame mtu wa kumshikilia mm. kitu kingine nataka ningependa kusema kwa street children mm. ama watu wenye wanatuangalia mm. tukue very careful wakati tunahanda watoto wenye wako normal okay. juu maybe unapata wenye wako wako wako, wako kwa street mm. kitu ya kwanza kuna mtu amefanya makosa Huyo akuangi mbaya sana kubadilika. Okay. Na kuna mwenye anakuanga ameingiliwa, amefa, amesinzi, amesinzi, ame ku, ku, kukua false witness, ame, ama amefanya kitu mm. na ajafanya. Okay. Wao ndi wanakuanga desperate, mm. juu umemsinikizia, amelia, ametafuta company, na wanda ningewa company ile mbaya kabisa. Okay. Kuliko mwenye amefanya, juu kuna watu marambili kwa street, kuna mwenye amefanya kitu. Ndiyo ako guilty. Okay. Na anisasema mi nilifanya na naomba msama na naomba nisamehewe. Okay. Uyo ni mzuri kuchenji niyaraka sana. But kuna mtu waliambiwa alifanya kitu na ajai fanya. Mm. Uyo ndiyo nakuanga ni very worse juu anisemanga. Mimi siku fanya na anisemanga nimefanya. Mm. So kenya nafataka, nataka sasa kuanza kufanya, mm. ndiyo nikuwe sasa mimi nilifanya. In short, approve. Approve. Kenye wewe unasema... Yeah, even evil. Okay. Sasa huyu mtu ndiye anakuanga very very hard to for example kama mimi nimeendekuwa kwa mentorship na wao. Mm. Yule anakuanga ni very hard kwa control. Na inaria ni natukuanga hard process kubwa. Juu mtu amenyefanya unaweza mwambia umekubali makosa yako wewe. Unaweza sasa ukisamehe uko sawa unaweza nifanya ndio. But sasa mwenye aliambua ulifanya kitu na ukufanya hiyo inakuanga ni very ni ngumu sana. Mm. Juu atakanga hata ukimrudisha pale. Unafaa kuwa careful. Juu anaweza kuprovea mm. anaweza fanya hivyo. Umesikia? To our listeners, in a manisha, that hard times does not define you because God can use those hard situations to commenter you for something better for this generation. So, kumanisha chenye choto unapitia, it's just a place, a preparation, what lies ahead of you. So, tuonge kusu familia yako. So far, wamefika wapi? Okay, my family is going to Missouri, Kabisa. You can't tell my younger brother. Mm. I'm a stand up on a wife. Mm. But the other wife, I can lend my I thank God. <laughs> Glory yeah, to God. My, my, my sister, Pia, I'm a kazi yake a Okay. Missouri. I'm a Kuzo and a Bona. Okay, my sister, I'm a Leka Kobuazi or Kamo. Okay. You are Aliaza Koleka Kwa 16. So, you become a queer mature really issues of life. Okay. Basa ya ko ako sawa kabisa ko no to watano mm. na anendelea na life yake. Okay. Na mimi pia mimi ya ada fa, niko na familia mm. niko am, am, ni this year niblesiwa na kaschana. So I niko na two boys na one girl. Mm. Ya yeah, before 25 niko nimesherekea ka girl. <laughs> so kumaanisha past ya mtu haistahili kumdefine because there is a future ahead. Yeah. As long as you make a choice. Mm. And no you make choice. Mm. Make sure mm. umeanza kufollow life yako. Juku na mtu wa follow ongo life yake. Mm. Uze manga maisha angu, ah, miata sijui mali life yangu yiko, yiko. Miata sijui vile kunaendanga. Mm. But ukianza kujijue mwenyewe, mm. uanza kufuata life yako. Mm. Ndiyo life yako yanza kumake path. Okay, so kumanisha you have a decision to make because past yako, seal future yako. Ni ukweli kuna mistakes zenye tunamakingi, but that's not the standard. Ya kusema that it's done kuna second chances and i pray that uta realize by story yenye tumepewa leo that at the end of the day if you want to make something out of yourself it's very possible yes very possible na kitu kingine mimi ningetaka kusema hata kama umefanya makosa hauna hauna hakuna mtu unafaa kuprovea ulifanya makosa okay ndio ukitaka kuendelea na life mbele Uziseme mimi wanataka kuprovea watu si kufanya hivyo ma hiyo hiyo kinywa linisingizia. Sure. Ufai kuprovea mtu. Mm. Kitu ya kwanza kama umemaliza shule. Mm. Kwa life hakuna hauko shule nyingine kulikulizwa maswali mm. ulifanya hivi kwa nini ulifanya hivi kwa nini unafaa kutu explainia. Mm. Anza life yako. Mm. Na ukue una, una explanation na mtu mwingine. Mm. As long as kama si mwajiri wako. Because lakini watu wengine kuwa previa what is kuwa right nilikuwa right a a mm. utaribu mambo. Just jua, hata ato kiprove, time ina pass, na kuna mtu otaku understand. So kumanisha kila mtu ishi maisha yake. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we quit comparing ourselves to each other. Yeah. To parts zetu ni tofauti. Yeah. Life ina, 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 uh, ina unfold tofauti. Yeah. And future basi ni tofauti. Ni tofauti. Na pia kuna kitu vipi unazangalia. Mm. Ukiangalia watu wale broke, mm. wana kuanga na vitu very expensive. 
for example ukiangalia mtu anasema mimi sinanga kazi sijui ninaweza fanya kazi gani lakini ukimwangalia vile anyamevaa kiatu ni angri tano longi ni ya 800 angri moja ukipata t-shirt yani mwenyewe kuva kwake ajakosa ajakosa kidu ngiri nane na ana kazi simu wako na, kama kuna, i have my friend my friend hana kazi lakini ako na simu ya 42k <laughs> Sasa <laughs> so, kumaanisha yeye yeah, amevaa capital. Yeye yeah, amevaa capital. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jua kati mimi natafuta hiyo capital ya 42k. Yeye <laughs> yeah, yeye yeah, ni simu. <laughs> yeye yeah, capital yake ameinvest kwa simu. Ameinvest kwa simu. Okay. So mimi nazaambia majuthu wengi, <laughs> wacha kuinvest kwa vitu zenye aziishi as in ni for example kama simu <laughs> ujafikia hiyo kiwango acha nayo. Okay. Kama uko una capital, kama mimi for example ni nikianza kuuza pineapple, nilikuwa na kabato nikamia 200. <laughs> Niliuzanga 200. Kabaton mm. ndio nikanikaza stock ya 150 okay. lakini sasa kuna mtu uko na simu mm. ya 20k 50k mm. 20, 15, 14k 7k na hana kazi na anatafuta kazi mm. na kitu ninaambia mtu asingojea kazi ya kuandiko kwa nini ajiandike mm. kazi ni mingi okay. anaweza uza simu ya, ya 20k aanze aanze kufanya kazi ya order mm. anaweza nua kwa kuna mtu saa hizi niko na my friend alianza kazi juzi ya, ya, ya sukuma mm. Yeye anaenda kuorder kwa, kwa neighborhood mm. sukuma za 1010. Mm. Yeye anakuja wananua sukuma na wakatakatia na wapelekea. Okay. Na alianza na, na 200 shilling. Naenda out of that eventually ikiwa alikuwa anataka hiyo simu ya 45 hiyo yeah. pesa itamuania. Eh, yeah, itamuania. Okay. But kitu ya kwanza unafaa kuangalia. Nimenua vietu ya 5000. Mm. Na sina job. Hiyo mm. inaanza capital hiyo ya 5000 within a year anaweza kuwa na pesa ngapi? That's good calculations because I, I think I think your point ya kuchallengeiwa to that extent watu wengine wengi hawajasikia. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, for example kaka kuna mtu mimi tulikuwa na tulibet na yeye. Mm. Kuna mtu tulienda mahali akatupea tu a gift. Tulienda tu kwa mahali akatupea gift ya kila mtu 55. Mm. Yeye akaenda kanua kiatu. Mm. Mimi nikaenda nikanua manasi ya 5k. Mm. Na within two weeks mimi saa hizi naweza sema niko na karuru 15k. Mm. Yeye 5k yamevaa. Mm. Mimi 15k ziko kwa mfuko. So kumaanisha 5000 ilitoa 10000. Yeah. Na bado inaendelea juu bado inaendelea ku ku, ku grow. Ku So kumaanisha that in life it's all about choices and how wise we are in, yeah. in kuzimake juu. At the end of the day we'll be accountable. Yeah. Kwa sababu shilingi moja if invested mm. accordingly hizo yeah. ni shilingi 5 in the tano. future. Yeah, in the future. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. We have really enjoyed uh, being with you. Thank That's you. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, it's not no- a normal story, Ju. Most of us maybe to make it life ikiwa smooth. Mm. But at the end of the day, listening to such a story in to inspire to to become better versions of ourselves na watu wenye wanapitia the same same thing. I urge you don't be stuck on your past. Your past does not define you. You're a better person than chenye uko right now. And for that, we we'll conclude with recurrence message. Anasemanga that life is a test, life is a trust, and life is an assignment. Kumaanisha kila test yenye life inakupe, make sure una pass. Kila trust kumaanisha God has entrusted you with this life and you have to be accountable for it. Assignment kumaanisha life yako iko na purpose. Don't just live life. Live it ikiwa na purpose so that at the end of the day kuna kitu ta get out of it. And with that, don't forget to tag a friend, subscribe to our channel. Let's impact as so many people as we can. Uh, and we are in grounds the Bureria. <laughs> Inaitwa Smart Garden. Book book kuja u book a uh, program yako and field field is as wide as so beautiful come let's support the uh, support these people uh hey, and god bless you thank you so much for joining us and god bless you